Hey guys, so today I thought I would bring you an updated hair care routine video with what products I've been using in my hair as well. I thought I would include in my current hair tools that I'm using. Um, so I thought I would show you kind of, kind of all of that in one video. So I will do it kind of like in order of what I use, I guess. Um, and I'll tell you where I got it from and if I can remember the price, how much things are. If not, um, if I can't remember the price, definitely link and list everything below um, as well as with a link if I can remember where I got them from or if there is a link. So first when I go to sham when I go into the shower and I shampoo and condition my hair, this is the shampoo that I use. I use the Moroccan Oil Moisture Repair Shampoo for chemically damaged hair and it's color safe. It's sulfate. Um, phosphate and paraben free so my mom's um, work sells Moroccan oil stuff so I just get it from her work I love it it smells amazing it works so so good and then for conditioner I use two things um, if I feel like my hair needs some toning then I will use this I don't think you can get this in the States um, but I'm pretty sure you can get it in Europe and obviously you can get it in Canada um, I get this from Shoppers Drug Mart it's called ice cream crow mask um, and it's the silver one, so it's to tone um, blonde hair to take away the brassiness, and it's purple. Similar to the purple shampoo concept, but this is a conditioner, um, and it smells so good. It smells like a white freezy. And uh, yeah, so I use this to condition my hair probably about once a week. And when I'm not using that, uh, I'll use the Macadamia Natural Oil. Oh, there was hair in it. <laughs> Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask, and this is amazing for if you have damaged hair. Like it is like my holy grail of a conditioner, um, or if you don't want to use it as like a daily conditioner because I obviously have bleached hair, I need to. Um, but if you just kind of want to do like a mask, maybe once every week or once every two weeks or whatever, um, I definitely highly recommend this. I like the masks by Macadamia a lot better than the masks by Moroccan Oil. And um, I got this from flatironexperts.com and it lasts a really, really long time. This is what it looks like. I've used this like so many times and I feel like it's like never ending. So, highly recommend. I use two heat protectants. So when I'm spraying in my um, hair when it's damp, I use the Schwarzkopf Got To Be Guardian Angel. Um, so I use this when my hair is damp and I got this from Walmart. And I also use um, Revlon Professional Equave Too Faced. Um, I got this from my local beauty supply. But Flatter and Experts also carries it. I saw it on their website. And then lastly, I use Moroccan Oil Light um, oil, fine, oil Treatment for Fine and Light Colored Hair. You need the tiniest bit of this. I just got a new bottle, um, so it's pretty full. But my mom and I both use this, and it takes us about a year to go through a bottle this size, which isn't a really big bottle and for two girls to go through it so you literally just need to go and whatever is left on your hand that's all you have to use well I mean it depends on how long your hair is my hair is down to like here naturally these are extensions and then when I'm styling my hair I love to use this one it's the KQC Thermal Shine um, it's also heat protectant I like to use this one um, when it, I'm finished like when I'm about to straighten my hair or when I'm finishing the blow dry off with um, a round brush or something because this gives such nice shine to your hair. This one says it gives shine to your hair but I don't find it gives as much shine as this one. So I like my hair to look really really shiny when I use this one. Um, so yeah I got this one from flatironexperts.com. The reason I shop on flatironexperts.com is because they're located in Canada and a lot of places aren't located in Canada. So one I don't have to pay duties and two it gets to me faster and they actually have a really big selection of things. So I buy a lot of my hair care um, and tools as well. You'll see my tools I get from there because they have them cheaper. Um, so I buy a lot of my tools from there. And then when I'm styling my hair, if I'm curling it, let's say, or waving it, that I like to use the Moroccan Oil um, Luminous Hairspray Strong Flexible Hold because this one is not like a super strong. It'll keep your hair um, in place, but it kind of gives your hair like movement as well. And then when I'm done and I want a finishing spray, I use Joico. And this is the Joyfix Firm. This literally is like glue. It's insanely awesome. I love it. Now, getting to my hair care tools. Well, hair tools. 
I use two things now. I go through, I buy new straighteners like every few months because I like to try new straighteners all the time. It's kind of like my little obsession. Um, so I've gone through a lot. And this one is, doesn't even have a name on it. I have the box. This one is Zazen. Um, I had never heard of anybody speaking about this, which is what intrigued me <laughs> to get it, which some people would think is like a bad thing, um, but I kind of like to try new products um, out of like the norm sometimes and maybe try to discover a new product that um, everybody will love. So I decided to get this one. I thought it was really pretty. It looks like this. kind of has like a honeycomb um, shape on it and it has a mirrored side on one and the other one is like infra uh, infrared? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, switch powered infrared generator Look, is this located between the two plates. Um, has dual plate technology which provides separating he heating elements in each of the top plates and maintains even heat across the plates at all times. Um, it also, okay, one thing I really like about this is it is so easy to curl your hair with this because it's so, so small compared to the other straighteners that I've had, and it's very skinny, too. So when I'm trying to, like, curl my hair, I don't know, it just gives, like, a really nice curl or a really nice wave. Um, sorry, my hair. Um, so, yeah, and I also like that it has digital, it's not plugged in right now, but it has, like, a digital um, heat temperature thing, and it goes up to... 450 Fahrenheit, which is 232 Celsius, which is really amazing. And the one thing I do have to say that I don't like about this is when you're running it through your hair, it doesn't have that, like, super smooth, like, soundless running through your hair. You know what I mean? Like, when I run the Chi through my hair or a T3, it's just, like, silence. Like, you can't even hear it. This one, let me see if I can show you. I don't know, you can kind of hear it. It's it's nothing. It doesn't even like affect the performance of it. It's just little things like that that bother me. It makes me, I don't know. Um, but literally, this heats up really fast, straightens really fast, and it's really good at curling hair. So I actually really do recommend this. Um, I will put the link down below because I can't remember how much it is off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, I like this one. So my last blow dryer was a Babyless Pro, the red one, and I did not like it at all. It was very frustrating. I mean, it did the job good, but it was very frustrating when I was using it because the buttons, like the heat buttons and um, the on and off and all that was all right here. So this is where I'm holding the blow dryer, and my fingers are like right there, and it kept turning off because I kept accidentally switching it off. So I really did not like that, so I gave that to my mom. And I decided to get a new one, and that one was really loud, and I've always heard about, like, you know, silenced um, blow dryers. So I decided to get one of those because I didn't want to wake people up, because sometimes I do my hair, like, really late at night, and I don't want to wake anybody up. So I decided to get um, this one, and this one is the Electa Paramount. Is it? No, it's the Q, or XQ Silence, and it's tourmaline and ceramic, which is really good. Um... And it's, yeah, stop, no stop noise pollution in your salon. It says it's 300% quieter and it's 60% faster drying time. Um, and yeah, tourmaline and ceramic technology. And honestly, like I've used this a bunch of times since I've gotten it. And I love it. It is so light too. I don't think they mentioned that. It is very, very, very light. I wonder if they have um, how much it weighs on here. It only weighs 13 ounces. Um... 13 ounces or 390 grams. It's honestly really, really light because when you're doing your hair, especially if you have thick hair and you're blow drying your hair for a really long time, your arm gets tired and nobody really wants to get a tired arm. So I really like that it was silent and light and I just like that it's black because I really just enjoyed the look of black like NARS Cosmetics. So this one on Flatter and Experts is actually rated um, number two because they have like a thing where it's like top three, like Flatirons. Um, curling irons, hair dryers, whatever, whatever. Um, this is actually rated number two for most quiet. And um, the buttons are on the back here. Let's see. So. Um, and also the cord is really, 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 really long, which I like, especially if you work in a salon. Or let's say you're 
where you like to do your hair, like there's no power cord near there. So that is everything in my hair care routine and hair tools updated video. Um, let me know how often you guys want me to do videos like this um, because I do change my products a lot because I like to like try new things. So um, let me know what you guys think and thanks so much for watching. And remember all products will be listed down below. Like I'll list their names and stuff so you can um, find them really easily. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. Love you.